Welcome to the Function Point Productivity Software video on creating schedules and assigning tasks. In this video, I'm going to take an existing job, create a schedule from it, and assign some tasks to it. And then I'm going to track some time to those tasks. So for that, I'm going to use my example job here. Now from this job details page, to add a schedule, I can just click Add Schedule. And that brings me to my Add Schedule dialog. The default option is to use the current estimate services as a template. What that means is it will take the services that you added to your estimate and turn them into tasks which you can then assign to specific people with their own due dates. If you want to include external expenses, that will create tasks for those as well. So you might want to do that, for example, if you were outsourcing your photography, but you wanted to get someone internally to make sure that that got done properly. So I'm going to do that and then click Submit. Now I'm on my Schedule Details page and I have three options for how I can edit this. Outline is a really quick edit. Manage gives me a medium level of detail and Full gives me a lot of detail, including the ability to assign milestones for my tasks. I usually use Manage. I find it's kind of a nice, happy medium. So I'm going to click that now. So from here, I can change the titles of my tasks if I want to. I can add descriptions, and I can assign them to specific people. Now what if I want to assign one task to more than one person, or maybe I want to break it into subtasks? What I can do is click this plus button next to the task, and I can drag this diamond in ever so gently. And now these two new tasks that I've created are subtasks of conceptual design mock-up. So maybe I'll just call this phase one and phase two. Now you'll notice when I did that, the service disappeared. So I'll just need to make sure that I assign these tasks to a service. And now I can say maybe Emma's going to do some of it and Samson's going to do some of it. And I'll put some hours in there as well. The other hours were carried in from our estimate. They disappeared when I created the subtasks so that we didn't double count anything. So I'm quickly going to do my other task assignments now. And all of my tasks have a person assigned to them. Photography, though, doesn't have a service assigned to it, and that's because that's the task that I created for my external expense. If I want Jeremy to be able to track time for what he's doing related to photography, I need to assign that to one of my billable services. So I'm going to select project management for that. Now I'm going to put my start and due dates in. And I'm actually going to have the same start date for a couple of my tasks. So I'm going to use the batch edit for that. And that's this blue row right up here. So anything that I select in this bottom area will be populated by what I do up here. And I'm going to say research and project management are both going to start tomorrow. And that filled both my rows below. I'm going to deselect those now and assign the rest of my dates. I can put times in here too if I want to. And now I'll assign my due dates. And to speed this up here a little bit, I'm just going to use my batch edit for the rest of these to say they're all going to be due on May 30th. Now there's one more thing I want to do here before calling my schedule done, and that's change the task status. Right now they're all marked as in draft, so they won't show up on anyone's to-do list. For people to see a task on their to-do list, it needs to have a status of assigned. And now I can save and finish. So now that my tasks have been created, I'm ready to track some time and I do that from the dashboard. The first step to tracking time to a task is to change the status, and that just acknowledges that I'm actually starting work on this. 
When I do that, I see the clock next to it, so I can click that and that will populate my timesheets window. Then it's just a matter of entering my duration and clicking submit. Once my task is complete, I can change the status to completed. And if it's not really complete and I'm just passing it off to someone else, I can do that. But in this case, I'll say I'm really finished, so I'll click Submit. And when I go back to the schedule, I will see that task has been marked as completed, and it was completed on April 30th. That's all we've got for today. Thanks for joining us.